Hello and welcome to Pooja's Corner. As I had promised, I am going to talk about the waveforms today. Now, so many times I'm educating and I'm giving microcurrent classes and I get asked what is a waveform or what kind of intensity you have in your technologies. Um, sometimes people ask um, more about uh, intensity levels and I feel there's not a real clear direction of what waveform is and what you should be looking for. So that's why I wanted to talk a little bit about what waveform is and what their applications are. So the first step or part one of this waveform would be to understand what are the different parts of each waveform. Um, a waveform is made up of three different things. One is the shape of the wave, one is the total intensity level that it can reach, and the third is what is the time cycle or the repetition. Everything matters when you are delivering true microcurrent into the skin. Um, so when you are looking at this board, we have three different waveforms here. Uh, one is the sine wave, or you can call an ocean wave. The other one is a square wave. And then the third one is the sawtooth wave. Now think about this, that actually the most important and critical point to understand is how much time, how much current are you delivering when you are getting to this waveform. So the peak or the maximum intensity that many times we get asked uh, may be 400 microamps, 500 microamps or 800 microamps, which means what is the peak, what is the maximum value that this wave, this ocean wave can reach. And everything below is the total current that is being delivered to the skin. So if you have a sawtooth kind of waveform, it does not mean that it is going to be the same kind of effect because the sawtooth waveform reaches its maximum for a very, very minute second and then it drops down to zero. And it takes a long time to ramp up to that versus when you are delivering a square, it reaches its maximum immediately and then stays there for a time cycle and drops down to zero. So when you're delivering a square waveform and the intensity level is 400 microamps, which is what it is in our mile lift, it definitely has a certain amount of current that got delivered versus when you're doing the sawtooth, it does not reach the same amount. So you can think of when you are doing a sawtooth, it may be reaching a different level into the skin versus when you are delivering a square waveform, then it is targeting a different part of the skin because all the different parts of the skin, the skin tissue, the muscle, the lymphatic drainage, and the blood vessels, they all communicate at a different frequency. So stay tuned to understand what the each waveform, wave shape, and its applications are in my next video. But right now, I just wanted to deliver and let you know what are the three different parts of the waveform. So when you are looking for true microcurrent, true waveform, then you can ask the right question, whether it is the intensity, the shape, or what is the pulse cycle, uh, the time cycle at which it repeats itself. Stay tuned and talk to you soon.